received reinforcements from Lu Shun of Wu, the Shu army defeated Lu Bu. Following the battle, they learned from Lu Shun of the demonic Kiyomori Taira, who was leaving a path of destruction in his wake. Now they face threats posed by Lu Bu, whose only interest lay in being the most powerful of men, Masamune, who saw himself as the rightful heir to the world with Orochi gone, and Daji, who continued to operate in the shadows. And now, a new threat arose to replace Orochi, Kiyomori. The causes of this newfound chaos were gradually becoming clear. Sensing the immediate danger posed by Kiyomori, Liu Bei ordered Xing Tsai and Ina to gather. As these two brave warriors carried out their mission, they came across an old friend who had been taken prisoner by a mysterious warrior they had never seen before. There are flags up ahead that I have never seen. There is also a heavily guarded cart. Mitsuhide, what is he doing there? We can't leave him there. We must move to his rescue with all haste.
Okay, don't bad deal, you know. I'm 
that's the thing to me. Why? Why? Oh, fuck that thing. I do what it beats me. Wonderful. I think the four fingers beat. This one is not the best one. I do what it beats me. You have to be
that to miss. Oh, just when I was getting ready for a nice nap. I must thank you all for rescuing us. Go on now, say thank you. Lord Yu Bei, I cannot express how grateful I am to you for risking everything just to save us. Good girl. I am just glad you're safe. I hear that Sun Wukong is quite the warrior. Yomori and Wukong are working together to expand their territory and their army. Inciting war, amassing allies, it's all very reminiscent of Orochi. We cannot allow Kiyomori to have his way. Lord Liu Bei, allow us to join your cause. And we will put our lives on the line to realize your 